So the Minecraft discontinued Discord has reached 1000 members, eh? Wow. I still remember when it didn't even have its own Discord yet. And the entire wiki was just a one-page tall document. Man, a lot has happened in the past years. Maybe I should do something to celebrate. Hmm, I don't know. Ha, ah, what if I made a logo in Minecraft? Cute. It kind of feels like the least I could do. You know what? Doing this in my Minecraft skin doesn't feel right. How about... Ah, that's better. Come walk with me. Shh. For the past three years, I've been working on completing my physics degree. Now doing this has been the most intellectually difficult and most fulfilling thing that I've ever done in my life. I remember the summer prior to my enrollment. A slightly younger but not less curious version of me wandered into a Discord server ran by Puffinfish HQ. I made some friends there and played Minecraft with them and that is where it should have ended by all means. But what you guys were doing back then inspired me so much that I decided to do hell with it. I want to be part of this. And with it I mean do anything other than edit the wiki. <laughs> So in the time that followed, I would manage the second official discontinued feature SMP, make a documentary on this wonderful community, and I started my first YouTube channel. Hey Jim. Why would you dare call me? This is awful! <laughs> no! Don't do this, Joey! Why? This hey, is Jim, ridiculous! Jim, I, I, wanna I just want to share an image with you. Oh, have, oh okay. Have you seen this image before? It's like a famous dress on the internet. Like, no one knows what color it is? Oh, it's white and brown. What? No, it's not white and brown. It's gold and blue! If you're worried that I'm gonna make this all about me, don't be. I just need to get my natural tendency to see myself as the center of the universe out of my system. We all have that sometimes. In my documentary, I describe this community as humanity's spirit for exploration. And for my segment, I hope to reaffirm this to all of you. Because nothing else humanity more to me than arguing about which version of Minecraft is the superior one with the same burning passion that powers the start and even the gods would fear. But something else that I associate with humanity is the simplicity of doing something for the love of doing it. For the joy of standing on one mountain peak just to look at the next. Not for any egotistical drive, not for fame or money or power. No, the human spirit explores because that's what we do. Sometimes foolishly, but always with the hope to make life better. It's of course easy to compare the community with exploration for the sake of exploration. Uh, after all, even though countless of hours have been put in, no one has earned a single cent from it. However, I would be a completely pretentious idiot if I held it self-evident that we've made lives better. However, I don't need to look that far to find a life that this community has improved. Because a good example would be me. It was about six months ago when one of my friends called me about the struggles they had been dealing with. They talked about their youth and told me that things weren't going too well. So of course I visited them and told them that everything was going to be alright. It was a long night, a cold night, but as dawn grew nearer I started getting the warm feeling that the cold wasn't going to take either of us. Not today, not ever, and I promised him that I would be there for them. A week later he had killed himself. I was, to put it bluntly, devastated. I started drinking more and before I knew it I was emotionally exhausted. However, around the same time I was recording videos for a channel called The Magical Blueberries. I did this together with Slim Jim, Bayou and Sab and these recordings meant more to me than you will ever know. Guys, thank you. I honestly don't know what I would have done without that. The people I met here had an impact on my life, and most certainly a good one. And while it may be a bit odd that I talk about this in a Minecraft video, at the end of the day this is a celebration of our community, and this is what it meant to me.
Joey, I think I know I, what color no, it looks like. No, you don't. If I'm you think that it's white and brown, you're a fucking moron. It's clearly gold and goddamn blue. What? Why are you such a moron that you can't see the truth? Hmm. What next? I started this segment by talking about how I'm studying physics, and I think that kind of fits in a metaphorical sense. At the end of the day, physicists discover things in our world that no one has bothered to look into yet, mostly because it's boring nerd stuff, but also because physicists are passionate about discovery. Hey, how weird, just like you guys, he wrote in his script. Hey, wait a minute. But seriously, studying physics has given me a lot of perspective on things. Digging into reality and figuring out how stuff works is a humbling experience to say the least. And I hope that what you guys work on will do the same thing for you as it did for me. I hope that you will gain a broader understanding of your place in our world. Because even though this is not as important as science, you are not just discovering how a block game works, you are learning what it means to be human. Roll your fucking eyes! It is so clearly no, no, white no, and blue! It's, it's green and blue! Stop Are you a bomb? This disgusting color dress! It is easy to go through life assuming that you are the center of your own universe. Of course, it is incredibly difficult to convince yourself this in a philosophical sense, but in a more mundane, everyday situation, it is our automatic behavior pattern. To give an example, imagine you work a very rough 9 to 5, and after a day of work, you feel a bit stressed and a lot more tired than that, and you just want to go eat online for an hour and go to sleep early because you have to do the same thing day in and day out. But you get caught in traffic on your way home. Now it's incredibly easy to become upset at the person in front of you. With their fat SUV, driving their wasteful car, killing the planet with their carbon emissions. And of course they're sporting a religious bumper sticker about how I'm going to hell if I don't follow their belief system. And you start to contemplate how of course the most annoying drivers always seem to gravitate to the biggest, most fat and wasteful cars. So you start to honk at them, yelling how they should really just hurry up. This is fine because of how much of a personal insult their existence is to you. And if you want to think like that, that's fine. But the harder and more attentive thing to do is to put the thought away that this is all about you. And to be open-minded about the possibility that maybe the person in front of you has a little boy that is suffering from leukemia. And the hospital she's called because it's not going well. And in fact, you are in their way. This is of course not likely to be true at all. But it's not impossible either. And this lack of imagination can become a possible hindrance when we need to apply these smaller moments of practice to larger, more consequential situations. Because when we start to think we know for certain what reality is, we blind ourselves to the most basic principle that reality has to teach us. That the most basic, simple aspects of it are often hidden in plain sight. And the modern world is all too happy to hum along with our hymns of ego. It is so easy to allow yourself to become kin of your own skull-sized universe. But what is much harder, and what I will urge you all to do, is to look beyond bickering and beyond this my team, your team rubbish, and realize that no matter how big or how small, we are all here to do the same task. And that is to learn together and to grow together. And while not all of you may practice this lesson, and some of you may never learn it at all, I can promise you that what you're doing right now, working at your little block game, will give you the perspective and state of mind that you need to go through life with more meaning and purpose than most people will. So to the discontinued features community, congratulations on reaching 1000 members. I cannot wait to see where this ride will go next. But no matter what happens, I know that you guys will be alright. Because what you are doing, the skills that you're learning, will help you realize that this isn't a white dress, nor is it a blue dress. This is a dress. And in the grand scheme of things, it's more productive to consider what our disagreements have to teach us about ourselves than who is right about the color of the dress. So please, for the love of God, stop arguing about whether Java or Bedrock Edition is the best version of Minecraft.